Someone on one of the message boards I belong to shared a recommendation that I found really helpful, so I'd like to share it with you. It's Dr. Randy Frost's No Matter What Rule. Solving a hoarding problem requires work. Boy, does it. The people we see in treatment who get better are the ones who work at sorting and discarding in between treatment sessions. People who don't get better often tell us, I couldn't work this week because I didn't feel well. I was too busy to work at it this week. I was too depressed to do anything. I wasn't home enough this week to work. I just didn't feel like it. It is fundamentally human to avoid tasks that are aversive and to find more pleasant ways of filling our time. <laughs> now my plan is complete. Hmm. And it's easy to find reasons not to do something that will be unpleasant. But if you wait to work on the clutter until you feel up to it, you risk never making the effort. And even if you do feel up to it, the first sign of distress may cause you to stop and surf the internet. In such cases, working on the problem has become contingent or dependent on how you feel. If you feel bad, you stop or never start working. Over time, this can result in stopping all efforts at change. Sound familiar? Instead of working on a feeling contingent basis, make your work time contingent. If you work for 10 minutes a day, regardless of how you feel, your sorting and discarding will no longer be under the control of how you feel. You can set a plan for yourself to move the time from 10 to 15 minutes a day, then to 30 minutes a day or higher. For this plan to work, you must do three things. First, set the initial amount of time at something you can do, even if it's only five minutes per day. Second, you must move up the amount of time slowly. You can't jump from five minutes per day to 30. Finally, and most importantly, you must spend that amount of time working each day regardless of how you feel. The no matter what rule. This means you must work even though you feel depressed. In fact, you should allow nothing to stop the work short of being too physically sick to move. Setting up an activity schedule such as this one and sticking to it even when you get depressed are components of a form of treatment for depression called behavioral activation. You may find that by setting up such a program, your depressed feelings will be easier to tolerate and may even go away. I got on the no matter what wagon just over a month ago, and I have to say that words have power. Calling it no matter what elevates the priority because I've had a 15 minutes per day goal for a long time, but I had a way more difficult time sticking to it before. I know 15 minutes a day sounds like, <sighs> That's not enough time to get anything done. That was totally my thinking before. I learned the hard way after literally years that I was wrong. Let my mistake be your benefit. I try to keep these videos on the short side, so in the next video, I'll share why a goal of 10 or 15 minutes can actually be better than shooting for, say, an hour each day. In the meantime, please just trust me, 10 to 15 minutes per day of no matter what is the place to start. So go now, video's over, go do your 10 to 15 minutes of no matter what, and I'll see you next time.